Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. I hope that you're all doing really well. So in two days, Mo and I are off to the Maldives. We're going on a little vacation and I am so, so, so looking forward to it. It's been a few months since we booked the trip. So now that it's like finally here, it's so exciting. And since the trip is coming up quite soon, I've already started to kind of pack and organize what I want to take with me on my carry-on or in my carry-on. This is going to be the bag that I take with me inside the flight. This is usually what I pack when I'm traveling anywhere that's like a long haul flight. So I would say anywhere from like five or six hours plus. It's just things that help me to enjoy the trip more and just make me feel comfortable and relaxed and refreshed after a long flight. I hope that this might be helpful to some if you're planning a trip somewhere or you know maybe you're just curious to see what I keep in my bag. I know I love to watch these videos. I feel like they're very like old school YouTube video to make and they're just very chilled and relaxing to watch. So I hope that you guys enjoy this video and let's get started. So as I said, this is going to be my uh, in-flight um, carry-on bag. This is the luggage tote from Celine. It looks like this from the front and like that from the back. It's so like sturdy and durable and it just looks beautiful as well. This is what the bag looks like from the inside. And something that you might be able to notice just by looking at the top of the bag is that I have a lot of smaller bags, like smaller kind of makeup bags within the big bag. I find that this just keeps my bag so much more organized. I really don't like having like a lot of stuff just kind of floating around in my bag, especially when I'm traveling. I like to keep things quite organized and this is something that really, really helps me with that. I'm just going to go ahead and start grabbing random things from my bag and sharing them with you guys. The first thing that's like the biggest Thing in my bag is my laptop. This is a uh, MacBook Air. The second thing is my wallet. I've had this wallet now for about seven years, six or seven years, a really, really long time. And as you can see, it looks pretty much new. The quality is amazing. I only take this out when I'm traveling though because in my smaller bag, my little Chanel boy bag that I wear pretty much every single day, this is a little bit too bulky for that bag. So I just have a small card holder. And what I also like about this is that it can kind of double up as a clutch for the evening time. Like if I don't want to take a big bag or anything, this does fit my phone inside. Next up, I have two little sunglass cases. This first one has my glasses, like my... I wouldn't call them reading glasses because I don't need them to read, but like my prescription glasses. I can actually put them on, but I'm going to be completely... My, oh my god, my vision is so off with them on because I have contact lenses, but that's what they um, that's what they look like. And then I have this sunglass case, which is just from H&M, uh, but again, I like it because it's so slim. These are the sunglasses that I will be putting in my bag. They are from Saint Laurent. They look like this. I'm going to put them on. I really like these because they're just very simple and big. Like They are one of my biggest pairs of sunglasses. Um, um, which is nice like if I'm going to feel really tired when I get off the plane or something and I just want to, you know, be a bit more in disguise. Moving on to my skincare bag. This is the little bag that I have all my little skincare necessities for when I'm going to be on the plane. I like to keep things like really simple, straightforward and basic and, you know, just bring stuff that I know I'm really, really going to use. It looks like this. Ooh, from the inside. The first thing I have in here is a little lip balm. This is from Burt's Bees. I have a little contact lens case. I just keep this in there in case I want to take my contact lenses out if they get dry. Then I have a little hand cream. This one is by Byredo. It is in the scent Flower Head and this smells so good. It almost doubles up as a bit of a fragrance because when you put it on like you can really smell it and it smells so good. Very like romantic and floral and fresh. I also really like the texture of this. It really moisturizes the hands and also like the cuticles of the nails, but it doesn't leave a very greasy or like oily feeling. This is the skincare stuff that I take with me. And probably the first thing that I'm going to do when I get on the plane is I will remove uh, the makeup that I have on and I probably won't wear that much makeup. 
I will just wear like some concealer or foundation, you know, something very lightweight. I use the Caudalie uh, Micellar Cleansing Water. So I have my little cotton pads in here. These are just wrapped in a tissue because I don't want them to get like dirty or anything. So I just pop them inside a tissue like that. So I will take some of this micellar water on a cotton pad and I will just refresh my whole face and it will feel so good. Then I have two kind of deluxe sample size um, skin treatments from Tata Harper. The first is the Rejuvenating Serum. And then I also have the Reparative Moisturizer. These are both new to me. I haven't tried either of them yet, but I will be packing them because they're so, so tiny. And Tata Harper is an amazing brand. They do really clean uh, beauty products and skincare. So I'm very, very excited to try these out. So by this point, my skin will be nice and clean and moisturized. And then the final thing that I like to do is to spritz a little bit of this Caudalie Beauty Elixir water. This is one of my all-time favorite like facial sprays. It smells so heavenly and so zen. It can sometimes also get a bit stuffy on an airplane and just spraying a little bit of this either on your face or you can spray it in your hands and just like breathe it in. It can be really rejuvenating and very, very relaxing. So I love this stuff so, so much. I have three little perfume samples here. The first is by Valentino. It's the Donna fragrance, which is actually really, really good. And I have one from Diptyque. It's called the Eau Rose, um, Rose Water. And this smells really fresh and very floral. And then I have a Prada Candy. Little samples like this are just perfect for keeping in your bag and they obviously don't take up a lot of space and finally just a few little q-tips so this is what that bag looks like when it's empty staying on the topic of beauty products i'm going to show you what i have in my little makeup bag next isn't this like the cutest bag ever i got this when i lived in london and i got it from oh um I think I got it from Selfridges. This is what the bag looks like from the inside. And the first thing I have in here is a MAC uh, blot powder in the color medium. This is a holy grail product of mine. It has a mirror here, a little puff, and then obviously the powder right there. And then on the top, I have a few little makeup brushes. I have a powder brush, which I use for my foundation, um, which is just going to be a powder foundation. I have a little highlighter brush from Tarte. And then also from Tarte is this brush. I use this for my under eye concealer. And then just a little blending brush that I'm going to be using for my inner corner highlight. So I have my concealer. This is from NARS. It's the Radiant Creamy Concealer in the color Ginger. I love this concealer so much. It's very easy to put on and I just love the way that it makes my under eyes look. I will also use this like a little bit around my nose and maybe to cover up any uh, discoloration on my skin. So I will be doing this like right before we land and I want to just feel a little bit more like fresh and like myself. After a long flight, it's just really nice to pamper yourself a little bit. So I do my concealer first, of course. Then I will put on some powder foundation. I'm not going to take a liquid foundation with me just because like powder is so much easier and more lightweight on the skin. This is the Studio Fix Powder in NC40 and it looks like this. Then I have my bronzer. This is, of course, the Chocolate Soleil Bronzer from Too Faced. I love this stuff. And my blush, this is also a favorite. This is the um, Diffuse Heat Blush from Hourglass. Oh, and then this is from Laura Mercier. This is the Secret Under Eye Brightening Powder. I used it today to set my under eye concealer and I love it. I think it looks so pretty. It's a little bit more like illuminating than their translucent powder. Then I have my brow powder. This is the Anastasia Brow Powder Duo in dark brown. And then I also have the little dual sided brush. And then also for my brows, I have a little mini version of the Gimme Brow from Benefit. How cute is this? I normally wouldn't really put this in my 
my um, travel makeup bag but because it's so small and just so freaking cute I just threw it in there and I do really love this this is something that I use uh, very very often when I do my makeup and it just makes the brows look a little bit fluffier and more natural I just have one lip product in here it is the MAC uh, boldly bare lip liner it's what I have on my lips today this liner has quickly become one of my favorites I love it so much the color is perfect and then I have my highlighter this is from Dior it is the uh, Dior skin nude air luminizer this is one of my all-time favorite highlighters I really like this it just awakens the skin and it gives you a little bit of this like fairy dust feel on your face which is super nice and I will be applying that with this um, little brush and then the last thing I have in my makeup bag is a little mini size version of the Benefit Their Real Mascara which looks like this that is it for my little makeup bag and then it has a little pocket on the side where I keep some hair ties I also keep my camera in here uh, this is a G7X and this is what the camera looks like this is what I vlog with and the screen lifts up like that which is super convenient and this case is pretty cool because it has a little pocket right there in the front so I keep an extra battery and an extra um, little uh, SD card and then I have a book and I am not sure if I'm actually going to end up like having a lot of time to read this book because I want to edit this video that I'm filming right now but I thought I would bring it in case I'm really in the mood to read something and this book is called Whole it is from Dr. T. Colin Campbell who is the author of The China Study I love reading health books like this because it really keeps me motivated and on track when it comes to eating healthy and like just treating my body right I find the more educated we are on our own health and about nutrition and stuff the easier it is to eat better I will also leave a link for some of my other favorite like health and nutrition books um, down below in the description box in case some of you guys are interested in that since it's going to be pretty warm in the Maldives when we get there it's going to be about 30 degrees and here it's freezing I wanted to bring a dress with me just so that I have something nice to change into and I'm not going to be sweating when we get off the plane and then the last like big thing that I have in my bag is this little um, case, this is from Too Faced and it was sent in one of their PR packages. Um, it had all of their uh, Born This Way concealers inside. But I really like this because it's very slim and it's also just really cute. So in here I have a few little random like bits and bobs that I don't want to be just floating around in my bag. The first thing I have in here is a little portable phone charger. This is from Amazon. I will try to have links for as many of the items as I can down below in the description box then I just have my keys these are my house keys I have two bars like two little snack bars and I always like to have these when I'm traveling just in case I get hungry some tissues which I find just always come in handy for something some headphones these are just the um, Apple headphones that come with the iPhone I have a little hairbrush this folds up like so, it has a little mirror, and then you just pop out the brush. And then I have two little bags of tea. I have a fennel tea and a chamomile tea. It's sometimes nice for your stomach or like your digestion if you ate something at the airport or on the plane that wasn't really good. Chamomile and fennel tea are great. You just ask the stewardess for a cup of hot water, and then you know you just put the tea bag in and you have yourself a nice cup of tea. So that's all that I keep in that little bag. And the last two things I have in my bag is my passport which I keep on the little inner side right there I am Swedish so my passport is of course from Sweden and then in the other side pocket I have my phone which is just the iPhone 6 I believe I have a little marble case on it and then I always get a big bottle of water as soon as I pass the security sometimes I even get myself two big bottles of water and I just try to keep myself super hydrated on the plane it's gonna be so helpful for your skin and keeping your skin like nice and plumped and hydrated 
decorated that is everything that i have in my bag this is what it looks like when it's completely empty i am such a big fan of this bag i'm so happy that i finally got it after like pretty much a year of deliberating if i should get it or not i'm so happy that i did and it's such a good like little travel companion it's very sturdy and durable but it still looks super chic super elegant and timeless and i just love it so so much on another note if you guys are wondering where my top is from it is by zara and i did buy it recently and it's so freaking cute and comfortable on my lips i have as i said the mac boldly bare lip liner with a little bit of the girl uh, lip stylo in the color dreamer which is a nice like a uh, baby pink kind of color as you're watching this i'm probably going to be in the maldives and if you want to see what i'm up to you can always find me on my social media Media. I am on Instagram and Snapchat. Both of those are at Annie Jaffrey. Thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you're all having a really nice day and I will see you guys soon. Mwah.